Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video we are going to automate a door based on the user face recognition. However, we are going to use here the Python and the OpenCV library. As a microcontroller, we are going to use here Arduino Uno. So what are the requirements that we need that in order to make this door lock? First, we need one Arduino Uno and we need one servo motor and one simple door lock and some jumper wires. Then we need to install here one library that's called PyFirmata in order to connect the laptop to the Arduino Uno, let's call the serial communications with the microcontroller. So you need to open your command prompt and type here pip install and that's called PyFirmata. This is the library. Using this library, you can communicate through the Python program to the Arduino Uno as a serial connections. So this is my projects that I actually built here before. So if you have missed this out, please check it out. Link in the description. You can go and check out the video. Full video, I already discussed about that. How can you use the Python 3.6.5 and the OpenCV in order to uh, collect the user data and how can you train the model and also how can you test it out. Now we're going to connect here one Arduino you know, so that we can make it one IoT project. So this is my uh, test model.py file, right? So now what we're going to do here, we are going to create here new Python file that's called controller, right? So let's say controller. So using this, we can actually control the uh, whole Arduino Uno or you can say door lock using this whole Python program. Let's say if a user is coming in front of the camera, if it is recognized by the camera, uh, the door will automatically open. Otherwise, it's locked, right? If this under person, it's, it's not open the lock, right? So what, I can, what are we going to do here? We are going to import here the PyFirmata. So we're going to import the Arduino Uno and also the servo motor because you need to also rotate the servo motor. So now from PyFirmata, we're going to import here the Arduino and also the servo. Let's say import the Arduino and also the servo, right? So this is the servo. Well. Now, we to actually give here the port number and which port number that you're going to connect the Arduino Uno. So, for that, you need to go on your Arduino Uno ID. So, this is the Arduino Uno ID. You need to go on the file and go on examples, and you can see here Firmata. You need to select the standard Firmata, right? So, right now, it's by default selected in my case. So, what you need to do, you need to connect your Arduino Uno board. So I'm going to connect my Arduino Uno board. Well, so it's connected. Now, if I go on the tools, you can see here my board is selected as Arduino Uno and port is nothing but COM7. So now I need to upload the code on the Arduino Uno. Using this, we can actually communicate the Python program to the Arduino Uno microcontroller. Now it will uploading the Firmata code inside my Arduino Uno. Now you can see it done uploading, right? Now what I can do here, we are going to connect this Firmata code into the Python code, right? One more thing that if you, if I go here, you can see the Arduino on the COM7, make sure that you just remember this port number because we are going to use this one. Using this, we can actually communicate to the Python program to the Arduino you know, microcontroller. Well, so now we are going to initialize the port. So let's say port equal to, this is nothing but called a COM7 port. Right now, what we are going to do, we need to also give here one pin number. So, in which pin number you are going to add your servo motor? Let's say pin because let's say I'm going to add here the pin number should be 10. In number 10 pin, we are going to actually connect it. Now, we need to initialize here the board. So, our board is nothing but my Arduino board. So let's call Arduino and I need to pass here my port. So, this is my port, just I'm going to pass it. Okay, this is called port, right? So, this port. Well, now we need to define here two functions. So first function actually help me to rotate the servo motor. But before actually rotate the servo motor, we need to also uh, give the pin mode should be the servo. So we are going to use here board dot. This is the digital pin. So digital, we need to give here the pin and we need to also initialize the mode of the pin. So this pin is nothing but my servo pin. So this is my digital pin and mode should be the servo. Now we can define here a function which can actually help you to rotate the servo. So let's say rotate servo. So it will actually taking the pin and also the angle, right? So it will actually return me the board 
with the digital pin so let's say board dot digital and we are going to write it so let's say digital dot write then what i can do we are just going to uh keep here the angle which angle that i am going to actually rotate the servo motor well so we need to also keep here the pin uh, we actually taking from the user so this is a pin and right angle right now we are going to define one of functions so to, in order to automate the door so let's say door automate right it will take one value so let's say if the value is let's say if the bell equal to equal to zero so we're going to rotate the servo motor so let's say rotate the servo we are going to give to the pin number and the angle so i already calculated the angle this should be the two to zero and elif val equal to equal to one so we are going to rotate the servo should be the pin number 14 right that's it now what i can do here we are just going, just going to save the file and now i'm going to call these functions i mean they call this uh door automate function inside our test model file so for that i need to also import it let's say import so from controller i'm going to import here the door automate okay automate automate this one i just calling and i need to also import here the time so that we can actually sleep for few seconds high and the uh, door is automated so this is, should be the zero now let's say if anyone press o from the keyboard let's say if okay it should be here so let's say if anyone press uh o from the keyboard let's say o r d uh there should be the o from the keyboard and also the confidence i mean this confidence is greater equal to 50 that's been a face is detected that's mean this is a known person then what i can do we can uh use this door automate we're just going to pass it a zero and after that we are going to okay we got and after that what i can do we are going to use your time dot sleep right time dot sleep we are going to sleep for 10 seconds i mean it will first open the door and after 10 seconds later it will automatically close the door right so let's say door automate should be the one this is the simple program right simple program right so now what i can do here we're just going to test it out and we're trying to see that how it actually work how you can actually automate the door okay so now let's test it out that is really working here fine or not so now we're going to testing out there the automate door so what i'm going to do here i'm just going to click here to run the python file and it will open the webcam and also i connect my arduino uno on my laptop as a serial connections okay now you can see webcam access is allowed and it will open the webcam well you can see it open the webcam and it also detect my face correctly and now you can see here my name so if i press o from the keyboard so you can see here door is right now automatically on now after 10 seconds it will automatically close the door so this is how the door look actually work right so let's try this out again so let's i'm going to press o from the keyboard well so again you can see here door is right now open and after 10 seconds it will automatically close the door right so this is how the face recognition based door lock is actually work so if i press q from the keyboard and it will automatically gone right so this is the product that's it for today now so hope you enjoyed the tutorial make sure to subscribe to the channels and don't forget to hit the bell icon and i'll be back with the tutorials so till then take care and bye bye